Yo me llamo Alex, estudiando el español aquí en la universidad por uh, ahora cuatro años. Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I study Portuguese. Hi, my name is Marianne and I study French. Hello, I'm Isabelle and I learn Dutch. Hola, yo soy Leon y estoy aprendiendo portugués. Yo me llamo Jacob y aprendo el francés. Hola, me llamo Saxon y um, estoy aprendiendo español. Yo soy Loki y yo he estudiado um, español. Bueno, llevo seis años más o menos estudiando español. Daniela, French. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Sasha. I'm a first year at university doing a Bachelor of International Security Studies and Languages. Hello, ich heiße Dominic. Hablo italiano e tedesco. Hello, my name is Caitlin Chavara and I am currently learning German and Italian. Hi, my name is Flynn. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hi, my name is Flynn and I'm doing Bachelor of Languages with French and Spanish. Je m'appelle Ali et j'ai étudié le français depuis l'âge de uh, 12 ans. Hello, uh, my name is Ulrika. Also, um, ich lerne Deutsch seit ich eigentlich seit ich geboren bin. Mein Vater ist Bonjour, moi je m'appelle Omicha, euh, je suis une étudiante euh, d'échange ici um, et moi je, moi je viens d'Angleterre. Hola, me llamo Mimi, soy una estudiante de español y portugués. Hola, mi nombre es Naomi, et je suis 19 ans. Ok, sorry, j'ai oublié. Ma phrase favorite en portugais est Tout va bien? So my favorite phrase in Portuguese is all good, as a question or as an expression, just because it's fun to say. I like the words uh, mon chou, which the French use to refer to loved ones, because it literally translates to my cabbage, and I think it's funny. That's insidio, like, are you serious? Comme si comme ça, c'est assez utile et ça sent bon. Comme si comme ça, c'est comme ça. My favorite French expression would be c'est pas grave. It's not even grammatically correct, but I like the way it just makes it easier to Take things as they are and not think about things too seriously. Passare la notte in bianco, una, no una notte passata senza dormire. Um, I reckon um, è tutto pepe, that means uh, uh, full, of, full of life, or like literally it's like full of pepe kind of thing. I feel like a lot of the Italians I've met have been, um, have sono tutti pepe. <laughs> Le coup de foudre. Uh, coup de foudre. Um, I just like thinking of falling in love at first sight as a strike of lightning. Girar o cavalinho da chuva. What's the best way to explain it? Go on without, um, you know, your illusions. Uh, my favorite word is cumpleaños, which means birthday. Perro lazarillo. Al camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente. J'adore chocolatine. Si on propose en français un chocolatine, on peut savoir à peu près d'où il vient en France, du nord ou du sud. Mon mot préféré c'est la mondialisation. J'ai pensé que c'était une très très cool traduction uh, du sens du mot uh, globalization. Uh, in Italian, <laughs> not ever meant one, one parole, um, but bo. And in German, Wirtschaft, Wissenschaft. Moi, je dirais Echafodage. Je sais pas pourquoi, mais pour quelqu'un qui parle pas français, il semble très élégant, poétique peut-être. Pour moi, mon préféré est du coup. Je l'utilise tout le temps pour, pour tout, juste à la fin de la phrase. Du coup. <laughs> Um, learning Spanish wasn't really an option. Uh, we, my family moved to Spain when I was six years old, so I spent six years living there. Um, and Portuguese I decided to study in the last two years of my degree. Um, it's been a language I've always been really interested in. Um, and I thought Spanish would be really interesting because I think it's like a third of the world can speak Spanish, so it's quite a useful language. Eh, mis padres siempre uh, habían tenido interés eh, con la cultura hispanoamericana y de España y yo también siempre me había a mí habían fascinado las culturas de todo el mundo. Uh, my mom is French from Marseille and when I learned it had so many benefits, I decided I wanted to continue because I want to work in a French speaking country. Ah, uh, yo empecé a aprender español porque mis abuelos viven en Chile, entonces ellos hablan español y obviamente mis abuelos no van a empezar a aprender inglés y quiero hablar con ellos. Per italiano, um, è solo uh, perché della mia famiglia. And, and German is a similar story, it's very family based. We'll try to learn a, a language from each language family. Uh, se non fossi onesto, direi um, per la bellezza della lingua oppure 
perché um, per la mia carriera, ma più semplicemente um, studio l'italiano perché voglio che mio nonno sia orgoglioso di me, uh, voglio che ci sia qualcuno nella sua famiglia che posso o che possa parlare e capire la lingua del suo padre e della sua madre. Moi, je pense que c'était dès l'âge de 9 ans, j'avais l'impression que le français était assez chic et euh, je demandais à ma mère de m'inscrire dans des cours à l'Alliance française. Quand j'étais petit, euh, j'avais regardé beaucoup, euh, souvent euh, le Tour de France avec mon père. I love the French language and I also love baking. So I started making things like macarons and mousse boy and I really enjoyed those. So I thought I would love to read the recipes in French. Euh, je voulais étudier l'allemand à l'école, mais euh, il n'y a pas de prof allemand et donc euh, j'ai choisi euh, le, la, la, seule, la seule autre langue européenne vivante et donc c'est le français. Language learning in general is really important to me. Um, I think of it, I, I study maths as well and I kind of think it's like moving from 3D space to 4D space, like you add another dimension, it just opens your perspective. Ah, je crois que c'était quand j'étais à Paris avec ma famille. Et euh, quand j'avais 8 ans, je n'ai pas compris euh, la langue et c'était un peu énervant pour moi. Après ça, j'ai décidé d'apprendre le, le français. My family is Jewish and um, speaks, of, well, a few of my family members speak Yiddish, but a lot of them have either passed away or are forgetting. So, because it's not that easy to learn Yiddish, um, but I wanted to keep this cultural tradition alive and continue to reconnect with, say, Um, poetry in Yiddish that my family had written. Um, I decided to learn German because I thought it would be an easier gap because most Yiddish vocabulary comes from Old High German with a bit of Hebrew and Aramaic sprinkled in, but if you are able to speak German, you have a pretty good show of understanding spoken Yiddish. Uh, L'année prochaine, uh, à Lausanne pour faire un projet dans la chimie. Uh, qui j'étudie et j'espère que je, peux, je, je pourrai utiliser mon français là-bas. Um, not yet, but I'm hoping to do an internship either in Paris or Montpellier before or after exchange next year. Uh, yeah, I think I would like to be a uh, teacher in Spain for about six to 12 months once I finish my degree. Yeah, I'm keen to teach Spanish and maybe Portuguese once I get good enough in a few years. Sí, sí. Um, L'ano prossimo andrò in uh, uh, Scambio um, alla all Università di Bologna. Uh, French language has just definitely opened some doors for me. It enabled me to travel to France over the most recent break. Por supuesto, hay la posibilidad de ir a un país hispanohablante y gozar de la habilidad de poder comunicarme sin dificultad con los que viven ahí. Sí, sí. Um, en mi an antiguo, antiguo trabajo um, había, uh, there were some people there who came there a lot from the Spanish embassy and I spoke with them in Spanish and it was very nice, even though it was a French restaurant, <laughs> which was a funny little uh, work story. He tenido la, la gran fortuna de poder trabajar en la enseñanza y la traducción, algo con español, eh, y también viajar, claro, pero con la, pan la pandemia, sí. The Spielwelt, uh, like German Austrian play school in Turner, is hiring new teachers, so I thought I'd apply there. And it would be a good experience and way to help improve my German and also um, help these kids learn German. Uh, in der Zukunft will ich um, nach Deutschland reisen. Ich will gerne einen Austausch machen, um, letztes Jahr hoffentlich. Und ich, um, es gibt auch eine Deutschschule in Canberra und ich. Um, Ich denke, ich werde hoffentlich um, etwas um, mit dem Kindergarten herausfinden. I'm actually interested in doing um, an Oz Italy program, which is a kind of like a, a program where you actually go to Italy and you teach the Italians their English. You can actually stay with a family, so not so um, teaching it in school. You actually stay with the family and you they take you around everywhere and they teach you how to speak Italian and you speak them, teach them how to speak their English and it's actually really cool. Bom, eu não tenho um projeto novo, mas durante a uh, um, uh, um, meu tempo aqui na universidade, eu tinha a oportunidade de trabalhar como voluntário 
uh, dentro da Embaixada do Brasil, aqui na Canberra, que foi um, uma experiência muito incrível, eu gostei muito. Oui, alors moi je travaille pour une analytique politique um, qui m'oblige de parler anglais et en anglais, en français, désolé. Yeah, so last semester I had the opportunity to work at the Embassy of Guatemala. This was incredible for me, um, coming from a Spanish background from at quite a young age, to learn to speak Spanish in a professional environment and really develop that um, was an amazing opportunity for me. Less so a project and more just now a concerning habit of learning languages because I'm trying to take up another one, um, which is probably going to end badly, but it's not going to stop me trying. Oui, tout à fait. En fait, je suis en, en train de faire des répétitions pour une pièce de théâtre, Arp, à Yasmina euh, Reza, euh, en ce moment. Donc, ça, c'est vraiment cool. Euh, J'avais jamais anticipé de faire quelque chose comme ça. Donc. Um, That's probably it. Yeah. And also German films. They're just great. Learn German just for the films. It's worth it. Yeah, one funny anecdote I would say, I was a few wines deep at a French dinner and I was trying to express my interest in learning human biology, perhaps in in medicine, but instead of saying that I ended up just saying uh, j'aime les hommes, uh, <laughs> my host mother found that hilarious. Oui, peut-être je dirais, uh, j'avais une correspondante et uh, j'ai dit, uh, est-ce que tu veux coucher avec moi, mais je ne savais pas que ça, ça, ça voulait dire, uh, do you want to sleep with me, mais en français, uh, c'est comme ça, donc ça c'est un peu amusant. Um, yeah, once when uh, we were in Italy at a friend of mine's uncle's house, um, I was sort of afraid to ask for more food because I didn't want to be impolite, but I didn't really have to because every time we were halfway through a plate, I'd just get piled on with more prosciutto and cheese and so my glass filled up. It happened everywhere we went, so I don't know, I loved it. It was really funny because he was, he paused to be like, oh, excuse me, I'm going to go drink a cup of syrup. And to me that sounded like maple syrup or like the syrup you put on top of ice cream or something like that. I was like, I was completely mortified. Isn't that too sweet? <laughs> and he goes, no, it's just like, you know, the stuff you put in a cup and you dilute it. And I was like, oh yeah, so we say cordial. And I was like, Oh, it's just cordial. Okay, that's okay. Anecdote, je me souviens, j'avais pas compris qu'il y avait plusieurs définitions pour le mot baguette. Donc au début, j'avais pas compris que on mange comme des nouilles avec des, du pain long. C'était un peu bizarre au début. Oui. In a German language class, um, ich habe den Satz in Deutsch um, gewinnt. Ma. Uh, or finito the um, phrase in Italian. I, you know, I keep getting my languages confused, and um, <laughs> quite often the, the teacher over there would just be just very confused at what the hell I was doing. <laughs> yeah, when I go out with my friend who also speaks French, we use French as a sec secret language um, when around all of our other friends, and it's quite funny. Es un poco, it's a bit funny that um, each Spanish teacher I've had or in the different levels has had a different accent from a different country that speaks Spanish. Hay colombianos, y españoles, y argentinos. Um, when I first started, started learning Spanish in Spain, I was in a Spanish school and because I'd learned French beforehand, my accent was so French that the teachers actually thought that I was French and started asking me questions about the school system um, before they realised I was actually Australian and just spoke Spanish with a French accent. <laughs> I was practicing for the exam, for a DELF exam, and we're going through all the standard questions because it was like an A2, it was the first one I did. What's your name? What's your family like? And she asked me about my grandmother. And of course, I immediately forget the French for 77. The only thing I could remember is 97. <laughs> and so I just tell my teacher with a completely blank face, I'm like, she's 97. And she goes, really? Yep, she's definitely 97. And then I get out of the exam, she goes, you totally made that up, didn't you? I've met your mom, she's only like, 45 and I'm like yeah I just couldn't remember what 77 was. Yeah well I grew up going to a French school and when I was really little I told my mum that I loved it so much I wished I could go to a school where I could learn a different language every single day and now I almost do learn a new language or three every semester of uni so it's pretty good. 